Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of unit conversions. This is standard 5.7a in the great state of Texas, and we're using item number 15 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a bag of sand, we have a mass of 2.7, 2 22 and 7 tenths kilograms. We need the mass of this bag in grams. All right, so we actually have some reference materials we could use here. So if we look at our unit conversion, right, so we are going to look and we see right down there at the bottom, right, we've got our weight and mass. So Customary system, the U.S. system uses weight, the metric system uses mass, they are not the same thing, they are closely related, but they're not the exact same thing. So the mass is the amount of uh, matter in an object, the weight measures the effect of gravity on that object. So we've got one gram uh, equals 1,000 milligrams, we're not looking at that one, we're looking at that second to last one, one kg, one kilogram, equals 1,000 grams. That's the one we're looking at right there. All right, so that's going to be our unit conversion that we need here. So 1 kg kilogram equals 1,000 grams. Now, there's a few different ways that we can actually solve this since we're dealing with the metric system. All right, one thing that I like to do is to show the beauty of the metric system, right, is that we can actually use place value, right? So if we uh, want to go ahead and just, right, think of uh, the ones place as kind of our units, right? And so different, uh, different classrooms have different mnemonics and, you know, different people remember the, the order of our prefixes in different ways. Um, but one way that I kind of keep in mind is that is the King Henry version, right? So King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. King Henry died, you know, by drinking chocolate milk, kind of like PEMDAS, right? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. This helps us keep our metric conversion uh, units prefixes in order, right? So this is going to be our kilo, right? This is going to be our hecto. This is going to be our deca, right? And so this is going to be da, honestly, even though it's died, right? This is going to be our base. So this is going to be our liter. This is going to be our gram. That's what we're using right now. Also can be our meter. And then we've got our deca, right? We've got our centa and we've got our milla. And it's place value, right? The metric system is tens based. So what we could do is we can say, all right, we got 22.7 kilograms, okay? Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ones place right here in whatever it says, right? So that's going to be my kilograms, okay? So I'm going to put my, I'm going to kind of, I'm going to, I'm not even sure what this one is above it. I'm going to kind of build it like this. I'm going to say 22.7. Seven, right? So I get 22.7. This K is my kilograms, right? There's a thousand grams inside that kilogram. And then I need to convert it into my grams. So what I do is I move my decimal place one, two, three places over because I want it to get to the ones place into my grams. So if I move that decimal place over three times, I end up with two blanks. So it ends up with 22,700. Another way to, and you could use that with converting any metric system unit uh, just by moving decimals because they are tens based. Doesn't work with customary. Or some of you might have thought, all right, so if one kilogram equals uh, 1,000 grams, then if I've got 22 kilograms, that'd be 22,000. So you're just multiplying by 1,000. So you're going to take your 22.7, uh, you multiply by 1,000, or you're just going to move the decimal place over one, two, three spots. That's exactly what we did right down there. That works, multiplying by 1,000. Either way, your answer is B.